Okay, I'm going to try and show how I made this um, wireframe style template for the spiral staircase on the right here. Uh, so I'm going to go File, New, and I'm going to use the 1080 default. I know you always use that, or this one. Uh, but we'll go with this because I'm working on a pixel layer and this is designed for pixel mode. Right, I'm going to create an ellipse 12 squares long. I say squares because I see I see these as squares. That looks like a square to me. They, they are actually triangles, trixels, but I've got a very square brain. On this pixel layer here, I'm going to create an ellipse 12 squares long. So I'm going to hold down the shift key. Let's zoom in a bit. Hold down the shift key so that it snaps to the grid. You see a little white dot. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I'm going to undo that because I want a bright color. I'm going to make it green. All right, let's start again. 12. And I'm going to drag that out. Now, if I hold the Alt key, that initial line will become the diameter, so I'm just going to do that. I'm going to hold down the Alt key, and there we go. That's six squares here, six squares there, so I know it's a perfect ellipse. I'm going to press Enter on that. Right, I'm going to draw a line across the middle. I'm going to cut this into 12 even pieces, because those are going to be the 12. There's going to be 12 steps in a rotation up this staircase. So I'm going to hold shift again to snap to grid. And why is that not drawing yet? Because I need to drag it, that's why. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Don't mind me, it's early in the morning. Right, we've got four segments there. I want to cut these up another two segments. So I'm actually going to do this by eye, what roughly looks like. I'm dividing it, this quarter, into three more. Because this template is only rough, it, it gets the job done. Um, if I wanted to be accurate, I'd work at a much larger scale and then shrink it down um, so that I could snap to more points, but it's not necessary here. That's about right. Now I'm going to use this template for each step up. Now I'm just going to bring this down a little bit, a little bit on my canvas. Right, I want my stairs to be two steps high. When I mean two steps, I mean say from this here, one, two. Okay, so what I'm going to do the grid snaps in a way that it should snap equal distances from my origin point. So if I hold down shift, you'll get one snap, two snap. Even if it doesn't line up with the grid, it'll be exactly, oh, I didn't copy and paste it. Control C, Control V, one, two. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing, Control V, one, two, three, four. One, two. You can do this as many times as you want, depending on how high you want your spiral staircase to climb. I haven't planned out how high I'm doing this, so I'm just going to do a couple more. One, two. One, two. So that, look, that looks complex, but it's not. I'm just copy and paste in a circle a pizza. Um, I'm going to create a new pixel layer to add the central column for the stairs. I'm going to use a different colour so it stands out. And create an ellipse. It's going to go from the centre of the bottom circle. I'm going to do it one. Right, it's four squares. Four squares. I'm going to copy and paste that. Control C, Control V. I'm going to move that to the top and that is snapped in place at the top, there we go, and I'm going to draw a line by holding shift and it should drag down, there we go, there we 
go, that's our central column. Right, I'm going to create another layer and another colour. Um, go for red because I'm not going to use. If I use blue, I've got greys in my final image, so I don't really want blues because it might distract. Right, I'm going to create lines down from each of these points. Sometimes the lines will try to snap to the grid like this. So I'm going to turn off the grid. That's with this icon here. Here. To here. And we're going to do that for all the points, for all the segments. And that's the template done. I'm just going to add purple circle for each step as it's getting a bit confusing what's happening here. So I'm going to copy and paste. I need to put the grid back on. So holding the shift key. One, two. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put each of these three layers into a group. So I'll click one, hold down shift, click the other two, right click, create group from selection, spiral ref. Okay. Right, I'm going to lower the opacity on that group slightly. And I'm going to create a new pixel layer. And we can start drawing the spiral staircase. Now I'm going to bring that brightness back up. Now I'm going to do this quite rough. I'm just going to use the line tool with a line width of 2. And follow this line. I'm actually going to turn off the grid so I can get nice straight lines. Right, here we go. Let's sit here. Now we're hitting the edge of the purple circle, not the centre of the column. Because the step stops at the central column. Go. Now we can do this kind of quick. And there's one step. I'm just going to call that in. Oh, turn off glow. Actually, I'll leave glow on a little bit. It looks alright. Alright, going to pick a darker shade for this side. A little bit darker. And then a darker shade for the inside bit darker. There we go. And in the interest of time I might speed this bit up. Right, here's where our second step starts. Up to here. There we go. And that extends around here. That line's going to stay the same, so I'm just going to draw up the column. There we go. <clears throat> and you can see there, I can just keep going upwards. I'm just going to colour these in. just going to fill in this central column. Yep. I could keep going but that gives you the basic idea. I hope this has been useful. If you'd like to see any of the other techniques I use explained, um, please leave a comment below.